All right, all right, ladies, gentlemen, and citizens of the Empire, we're back with Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Let's uh, let's plop down a couple of points. Um, yeah, we've got almost every like major node, so we can sooner or later just start randomly doing stuff. Uh, this was an upgrade. That was an upgrade. Alright, we're back in Lincolnshire. Or back in Lincoln, I guess. The whole Shire is Lincolnshire. <laughs> you? Hold. Hold. Cum magna voce letrari canes belli cubile exalcit. Si facem wimper felium et ambulato piliuga. Nan cum canibus adolibitque felini mendacium et humilis. Dude, I understand you're a monk, but can you stop screaming Latin? Eivor! What news? Your father is dead. Wait, what? The sigil of Hunbeorf's house. I found it near his body. No. No, this cannot be. He was strong. A pillar of Lincolnshire. He cannot be gone. He... He... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you poor boy. I'm so, so sorry. I am a man, Archer. Do you hear me? I am a man and I am my father's son. Do not forget it. He has been dead for some time. That was obvious by the state of his corpse. One of you knows more than you're letting on. I'm sorry, Hunwald. I had already asked a priest to administer last rites when your father disappeared. What? I didn't tell you sooner because I... I thought by some miracle he had survived. You lied to me! You silly, sobbing mooncalf. Will you never grow up? Lord have mercy on that woman. She should have said something. It was her duty to say something. You need a new elderman here, and it falls to King Cheovulf to make that choice. But once we find agreement, Eivor, the nobles here will convene a shy mood to select a new candidate. The winner will stand before the king for approval. Explain how this works, your Shire Moot. A moot is a meeting of lords. We convene from time to time to steer the course of our Shire. It was always my intention to convene a moot, but between our troubles in Lincoln and the bandits' raids, we slipped into a pattern of convenience. We have a similar custom, what we call an alding, an assembly of good folk. With so many like habits, there should be peace between our people and yours. Perhaps that begins now. Apart from Hunwald, who else will stand for the Elderman's seat? If I may be so bold, I should like to put my name forward. No. Under my care, this Shire has found some peace this past month. I will offer my name as well. My family has ancient ties to this land, and I am proud to say I have forged quite a friendship with the Danes to the north. Good. My priests will spread word of the moot across the Shire and will convene in a few days' time. Uh, do visit my estate, Eivor. I have something for you. Something I think you'll enjoy. I'll find the time. Eivor, a word if you don't mind. Is the word Christ, or Pagan? Oh, 
I deeply regret my churlish ways when we first met. I did not treat you as my god commands, with kindness and love. Love is a difficult feeling to command. Yes, quite. In any case, thank you for putting this mystery to rest. I do hope we'll see you at the moot. Okay. With Hunbeoth's death an open secret, Hunwald's enemies may strike again. I should find him before they do. Oh, he's right here. Archo went or... to console him. I should follow her. Oh, we have multiple quests? Oh, okay, just two. I'm a little suspicious of uh, Algir. Just a little. The way he, um... The way he was just kind of innocently like, hey, hey, dude, I want to be alderman, and I got a gift for you. I, I don't, I don't like that. But the bishop is still my, uh, my ultimate suspect for who that order member is supposed to be. Where'd he go? Archer, where is Hunwald? I tried to console him, but he pushed me away. I love the boy, I do. But I fear what would happen if he took his father's title. He's fragile and scattered. I saw him ride north, following the paved Roman road, to the old tall tree where he often passed time with his father, I imagine. Alright, you broke an oath to your ward. Who put you up to this grand lie? What devil put you up to all this deception? I wasn't put up, Eivor. I felt compelled to carry on for the good of the Shire. Until I knew the truth. A pretty answer for an ugly lie. We'll see. What's going on? He rode north. There's gotta be a tree stand out somewhere. Although it's pretty far. Uh, is there a fast travel point up that way? No. Not that we have got. Good evening, soldiers. Someone help! They mean to hang me for something I did not do! I do miss the old fish. I'm on. Ah, shit. You die now. Let's they said a Dane would likely follow close by. And lo and behold. Spread out. We have this. Be gone. This prisoner can't ah. me. Come on. Ah. And that does that. Is this to you, heathen? That is not Hunwall. Why don't you let us decide? Together, lad! The thrill of the chase! Come on, come on! Did you stop? Ah, oh, jeez. There we go. Did he not, uh... So where is he? Where'd that dude go? Bounty order for Hunwald. Help 
me down! You're already down. Seems there's a bounty out on Hunwald. Oh, he's ruffled some feathers, that much is clear. And you look like... Do you know him? I do. Then the Lord truly is watching over me. Right place, right time. Thanks for saving my neck, stranger. I pray I can return the favor someday. Yeah. All right. He's that way. We'll stop off and get this here. Lindsay Mill. <laughs> Hopefully this is not too close. Whoa. Okay, never mind. Let us I'll get to the bell. Warm oh. up on me! There we go. Come here, stand in the mirror. Oh yeah, and let's get rid of that just, just for a second. Come on, horse. No, not horse. Wolf. Hati is his name. So, ah. Seems right. We need to get you out of here. These woods, father. Oh, these woods. Oh, he's drunk. I remember the days we spent here together. He's very drunk. Here. <laughs> hey, hello? Eivor? Is that you? Yep. Eivor, what a pleasant surprise. Would you drink with me? Unwald. Come, sit, sit. Stay with me a while and contemplate. Contemplate. Contemplate the view. You're grieving. Pull yourself together. Collect yourself, Hunwald. There's many a man in Lincolnshire who'd pay to see your head on a pike. Well, they can wait a moment. Do not gorge on grief, nor give in to sadness, but let your aching love light the meat of your eyes and lead you to triumph. That is quite lovely. My father would have liked you. He liked all those who could swing a sword and speak a verse with ease. He had a large heart and a love for his people. I think I would have liked him too. <laughs> he and I used to wander up this way all the time. He would take me hunting, and I would catch the most wretched little things if I caught anything at all. I was a rubbish hunter. <laughs> but he always said he was proud. Each and every time. A toast. To your father, Lord Hunbeorth of Lincolnshire. He may have dwindled from this world in death, but in life he was as stalwart as this tree. A wise old oak. Yes. Skull. Skull. 
<laughs> and then, and then my father says, it's the right goat, but it's the wrong end. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Swanborough loves that one. <laughs> She has a great sense of humour, my lady love. Father would have liked her. Right. Your Dane lady love, she sounds lovely. Too lovely to be real. You know what? We should visit her. We should go to Brimsky. Oh, uh, Grimsby. Yes, yes, there's no time to lose. After you. Nothing Why? like drinking and riding to jostle your troubles away. And the contents of your gut. By all the gods, he is sloshed. Now come and enjoy the splendor of my shire. You Saxons and your tiny splendor. You <laughs> have never seen mountains, have you? Or deep fjords like a giant's axe wound. Or towering falls that steam in the dead of winter. Snow sparkling like a blanket of jewels. That is splendor. Well, if your homeland is so splendor... ...full, why come to England at all? You cannot grow crops on a blanket of jewels. <laughs> Very true. I'll admit, your countryside does take the breath away. Quite so, quite so. I love this land. And should I follow my father's footsteps, I shall do my solemn duty to protect her. I know many think me foolish, inexperienced, but I would ask that they judge me by my future hopes, not my past reputation. If I am given sway over this land and show myself to be a poor leader, shame me, punish me, of course, but give me that chance. My God, I just want to have that chance. Well, that's a fair outlook. I'm glad to hear it. So far, people have only really painted you as a child. What was that? Birds, Eivor. Has no one told them today is a day of grief? Shh, quiet. Ambush. Shh. Stop here. Something isn't right. I'll find the trouble before it finds us. Yeah, that's enough of that. Are there any more? Wait for my sin. There's more here. Might be the last one, I don't know. That's just a deer. Two more up there. Oh, they're going after. Are they going after him? Now you pay. I don't fight, Hunwald. Now. There's only one left, so. Good. 
cave on. <laughs> Thank you. I'm a That's twice they tried to kill you, Hunwald. And twice failed. We had luck, but if you're not more careful, they will succeed. Someone in Mercia wants you dead, and they'll kill anyone in the way to see it done. Yes, including my dear Swanborough, my lady love. Come, let us hurry away. I am right. serious, Hunwald. Are you hearing me? Plain and clear. Follow me. No, he completely understands. He just, uh... <sighs> Hunwald, are you sure this place is safe? The safest spot in the Shire, yes. Here I am with a chance to be Elderman, but I have yet to prove myself worthy. To you, to the Shire, to her. I can do nothing without my darling lady. You've made me realize how much I've neglected her through this fatal stupor of mine. This I must see for myself. Okay, well he very much speaks about her as if she's real. <laughs> so let's see. Grimsby. Follow my voice, Bjarne! Oh, thank the heavens! There she is! Is that her back there? Or is that a dude? I can't really see. No, that's her. Hundval! I thought for sure you'd be dead. Why didn't you send word? It has been far too long, my little jewel. I'm so very sorry for that. I am fine, my love. I wilted without you, but still I grow. And who is this? Ah, yes. I am proud to present Eivor of the Raven Clan. Hello, Eivor. A pleasure to meet you. You really have been courting a Dane. It's a side of you I did not expect. People say we're an odd couple. I do not care much what people say. As every boat needs an anchor, every man needs his swan burrow. The light of my life. Eivor has been my champion as I stake my claim in Lincolnshire. But I'm afraid it hasn't gone as well as I'd hoped. What's happened? My father is dead. Died of a cruel disease, apparently. Then shunted off to a cellar for burial. Oh, my love, I'm sorry. And someone in your shire wants to make sure Hunwald follows his father to the grave. Let them try. I'll cut their throats. A shire mood will soon be held. Hunwald should stay here out of sight until he can attend. What if I left it all behind, my love? Forget my father's seat. What if I stayed here with you? Just the two of us. Hunwald, no. This shire must be led with courage and heart. Follow in your father's footsteps and lead the Shire as he did. Whatever strength you lack, you have in Swanborough. Heed her advice. Yes. If anyone can lift my spirits in time for the Shire moot, it's you, my dear. Come inside and rest your bumbling bones, love. Be well, Eivor, and thank you. Keep watch over that one. Men have come for him more than once. My blade will keep him safe. I do not doubt it. Okay. And now we got one other quest to do. The Thane of Lincoln. Which we can just fast travel back there, maybe? No? Okay, before we do that, let's actually get this. He's actually pretty far. I, yeah. He's yeah. pretty far. I don't know exactly how far. Because, I don't know, maybe Link fast traveling back to Lincoln might not be beneficial. Hey uh, let, come on. There we go. These mounts get easily stuck on things. Like every horse in every video game. Why am I even saying that like I'm surprised? 
Wait a minute, does this work? Jesus, really? Can hop down? Hop down. Guess not. There's an artifact down here somewhere. This oh sport. God. There we go. Didn't even expect this. There we go. It's an easier fight than I thought. Ah, oh, shit. Where'd it go? Oh, it called wolves. Oh, it's Jesus. Didn't have a choice in the matter. Shit. There we go. Shit, really? Come here. There you go. Burn, bitch! Did 
Didn't mean to do that. Almost got him. There we go. Oh, jeez. Big pack. I should probably really get down from here. This is where the uh, artifact is. Maybe not. Maybe I was just wrong. We can also just find it later. <clears throat> Yeah, Lincoln. Let's just go to Lincoln and ride. Okay. Can I jump? There we go. We go. So you waiting for me? Now he's just a soldier standing there, sitting there. Hey All right, we're not too far off. Okay, got a couple of cows just l running around everywhere. Uh, Sorry. Just looking at him making me hungry. I want a burger now. <laughs> I mean, to call this an estate is a little much, but okay. It's your land. You rule it. I get it. Be proud of what you got. Oh, 
Hold on. Hold on. Okay. He can be found in his villa. Yep, we, we found him. Oh wait, let me let me see what it said about his farm. Call the okay. He used the name Bill Hook. Very odd. Hmm. Huh. Anyway. Eivor, I'm pleased you came. Can I can I There we go. Welcome to my estate, old friend. Thane Alfgar. It's an impressive amount of land you oversee. Quite right. I often get lost swimming to my island in this flowing sea of wheat. You're flush with land and crops, to be sure. You're a brave man to flaunt your riches from this lonely hill. It's not bravery, it's trust. I trust the respect I've earned keeps Saxon and Dane alike from temptation. You said you had something to show me when we last spoke. What did you mean? Yes, I did. Observe. This fine specimen belonged to our beloved elderman, Hunbeort, before his untimely passing. He left it here when we last hunted together. I now wish you to have it. Hmm, I see. This has a feeling of a bribe, Elfgar. Are you trying to win my favor for some reason? Bribe you? Heavens no. This is a simple gift of thanks. For solving the mystery of Hunbiort's disappearance. Now, now, take it and come hither. I have a rousing hunt plan for the two of us. Leave aside talk of politics and shiremoots. Let us enjoy the fruits of my land together. We're hunting or fruit picking? Both, if you like. Whatever you fancy. I'm generous with the yields of my estate, as you will see. Okay, so be it. To be plain, Eivor, a great bear has been badgering my estate for weeks. I must do away with it, if only to prevent a future tragedy. You brought me here to hunt a bear. Yes, and I'm so pleased you agreed to come. I suspect you know better than most that I have what it takes to lead this shire. Though its line of kings is all but ended, the people of this land still teems with life, with promise. But today, the Shire languishes. It needs the guidance of new blood. Like me. I'm sorry? I'm the <laughs> definition of new blood. It may be I should put my name in for Elderman. <laughs> ah, there it is, that dark sense of humor. Blunt as a hammer, eh? Like the one carried by your, uh, your thunder god, uh, I don't recall the name. Thor? Go on. What I mean to say is, I enjoy the company of your people. Or people like you. What little I've seen of them. And I don't care what stuffy fools like Herofriv and Unwald say. You Danes are damn decent people. Not dense at all. Kind of you to notice. I remember when the Danes first arrived. Not long ago. The locals were terrified. Are we hunting, Algar? Or is it your hope that I'll braid your hair? Hunting, definitely. The bear's lair should be nearby. Behind the waterfall, maybe. Ah, my old friend Grim. How wonderful to see you here. What a pleasant surprise. What surprise? I came as you requested. Ah, uh, yes, and how is Grimsby? How are all the other Danes? I can't speak for all Danes, but I am well, and itching for a hunt as you made plain in your message this morning. Yes, that's right, very good. Uh, speaking of Danes, I'd like to introduce you to Eivor. Uh, perhaps you know each other as one Dane to another. I am Norse, actually. Something you might learn by asking. Well met, Grim. Glad to have you along. Hey, Eivor. Did he lure you here as well with the promise of a hunt? He... <laughs> yes, hunting a bear! That's the point of all this. We're hunting, I promise. There's a cave just up the hill there. Seems a likely place for a lair. 
If the beast is as large as Elfgar claims, it'll take all three of us to bring it down. I'm game. Let's get a new fur cloak, shall we? Sounds good to me. There's all manner of beasts in this forest. If we don't find the bear, we'll find something worth our supper. I have a divine rule over the land on my estate. God shall provide. Have no worry. This man is sketchy. He's sketchy as hell. Maybe he's just trying to poorly play politics. I don't know. Maybe he's trying to get me killed. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so that's an exit. You know, before we do anything else, let's look at what this bow is. Is it useful? This Okay, so we use a hunter bow. Superior light bow. Oh, it's one of these. This is the threshold of a beast's home. There's no doubting that. Oh. <laughs> okay, it's a good bow. That's not a bear. Wolves. Sight. Yeah, I can figure you expected something like this. Regroup with Grim. Where is Grim? Where is Grim? Grim dead? Oh. This way. Hi. On guard. Eivor. There's something you'll want to see here. Is that? That smoke! My god! My estate is burning like a twig! Soon to be a sea of fire. Eivor! You're skilled enough, and I can't tell you how to handle this, but please, my god, help me with this! I'm in this fight with you. A clutch of puny Mercians don't frighten me. All right, let me, uh, let me switch back to my other boat first. Off we go. No. No! Let's see where it spits us back out at. Okay, we're good. Now he's taken behind me. What the hell? Alright man, let's defend your land. I should not be seen in this area. Mercian soldiers? Where's Alka? Bloody Dane Lover. Search him in. Across the fields. They're burning the food. Shit. No good if there's no way to eat it. The house is burned. We watch each other's backs. Damn you. Hey, where are you going? Die! There we go. And... Just 
death. You go. Oh my god, a chicken. Martian dogs. The men who would see you burn are dead. Let's hey, get queen. these fires out. Agreed. Uh. Cutscene again? What, what, what? What's going on? What a mess. A sea of ashes. I thank you, Eivor, for doing what you could. You're a man of many riches, Algar. You can rebuild. To be sure. But I do not look forward to the toilet. <laughs> Sweet Lord in heaven! The bear is returned! <laughs> really? The Shiremood will start soon. I should return to Link. Excuse me. Hey, hey. Away, beast! Away! You won't trouble me any longer! Elgar, careful! There, you see? Didn't I promise you a rousing hunt? Brilliant. Simply brilliant. The Shiremood will start soon. I should return to Lincoln to see that it goes well. Alright, well, let's, uh, let's return. Lord, that bear actually came back. That's funny. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the moot. Archer, is everything ready? The Shiremoot will soon begin. Will you join us, Eivor? We'd be comforted by your presence. Yes, I'm curious to see this Shiremoot for myself. I will follow. When will the vote begin, Abbas? Twelve able lords of Lincolnshire have already cast their stones, but they have reached a tie. Four votes for each man. It now falls to you to break this impasse. Me? By whose order? You have earned the trust of our three candidates, it seems. Even our bishop has found a certain fondness for your hardy spirit. It's an important vote for your people. How would you counsel my vote? I value competent and righteous leadership, not foolish friends in high seats. Anyone but Hunwald, you mean? I love Hunwald, as I love my own kin. But I would not put a stone in his care without fearing for the safety of both. 
I pray that God guides your vote today, and not the devil, as I fear. Okay, I guess we can talk to people around? How are you, Lord? Have I heard aright that you have come to break us from our deadlock? I have, Lord. Have you any advice before I vote? Lord Hundbeor was a bold and honest man, if somewhat reckless. I see the same qualities in his son. Therefore, Hunwald is my man. All right. I mean, the apple tends to not fall far. And they were very close, so we'll see. King Cheowulf's attendant, aren't you? Aye. The king sends his love and support. Whatever happens here today shall have his full blessing. He's learning fast. Good man. Good to hear it. Oh, he's big. Good evening, Alvgar. Eivor, I hope it's not untoward of me to solicit your support, but I do need it. The vote is closer than a cat's whisker. It is a difficult choice, Alvgar. Know that I won't make it lightly. Good, good. But let me say unreservedly that I am the man who will lead Lincolnshire into progress and victory. I do not doubt your convictions, Lord. I mean, there is also the point that me and, uh, I'm forgetting his name already, uh, have a deal. Charmood invitation, okay. Grim, good to see you again. A hearty hello, Drenger. Seems Britain is getting quite used to the idea of Danes stalking her shores. Where do you fall in this contest, Grim? Alfgar is a friend of yours, is he not? He is, and a good man as well. But I cast my stone for the bishop. The bishop? That's an odd strategy. These Christians are easy to nudge about. So desperate they are to avoid a good fight, they'll agree to most anything a Dane says. Interesting. A vote for Hunwald will return the house of the ferocious swan to its full... How fair you, Lord. My prayers are fervent and my will is strong, Eivor. If I am Elderman, I will bring joy to this Shire. There is more to good leadership than merrymaking. You must be strong and stern and willing to take risks. Of course, of course. Strength and wisdom and fortitude and all that. I shall rise above the peat moss of mediocrity. Have no fear. That is good to hear. A vote for Hunwald will return the house See, of the ferocious swan to its former I kind of want Hunwald. Oh, let's, let's speak to the bishop. Bishop. Eivor, I must thank you for your fearless participation in our moot. I'm surprised to hear you vouched for me, Bishop. I surprised myself, to be honest. But I felt it would be a good test of God's faith in my judgment. Under my guidance, this Shire is crawling back from a decade of lawlessness. God knows the love that lives in my heart for the people of Lincolnshire. I pray now that he guides your hand accordingly. Quite a gambit, Bishop. Mad enough to work, it may be. Well then, I thank you for what it's worth. God go with you. Okay. I still don't... like. Okay. Here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. I want one of them that I can trust. I kind of I, I trust Hunwald. That doesn't mean he's a good leader. El Elgir is sketchy, but like middle of the road sketchy. The bishop has been very sketchy, very sus. So I might have to go with Hunwald, provided that Elgir can be an advisor. I don't know. I don't know, we'll see. Let, let's see what we get. Oh, we just kind of like put a vote into Free men, free possible futures. Which of these sad puppets will dance best when you call upon them? It is not for myself I must cast the stone, but for my clan. Who will serve us best in a time of true need? You can never be certain where you stand in another's heart. 
Choose only for yourself. All three have strengths and weaknesses. Kunwald is not the most cunning or clever, but he has heart and spirit. Both go a long way in times of need. Though tinged with arrogance, Alvgard is competent and wealthy. He'd be a good elderman, but a faithful ally? Bishop can be stuffy and wallows in Christian piety, but he is wisest of the free and has already proven himself. They're pushing me towards the bishop. Hunwald is not the Wait, I can speak along. to more people. Hold on, let, let let's go back. I should speak with more people before I decide. Oh, I can't speak to anybody. Um... Jesus, this is a hard decision. This is a hard decision. Free men, free... Which? It is... You can net all free... Okay. Give me, give me one second. I need to think. I need to think. Okay. So, thinking about it, we need somebody... Though tinged with arrogance. We need somebody competent. And at the end of the day, Chea Wolf is still under our thumb. So we can go with uh, Elf Gear and be okay. I choose Alvgar. He's sturdy and competent, and his wealth will be a boon. It is decided. By the grace of God, the new Elderman is... Lord Algar of Lincoln. God has spoken, and his voice is a clarion call. As your ailderman, I will work to better this shire, to foster peace between its people, and to serve our king. I bless you all. Let us all raise our cups. A toast to our new elderman. As all well know, this Shiremoot's decision is not final, but advisory. It now falls to our newly anointed King Cheowulf to ratify our choice. To this end, we need not worry. Cheowulf is a friend to Saxon and Dane alike, and he is sure to approve the results. Our good and noble friend, Arvelswith, a septic rot has overtaken this shire. A sickness for which there is only one cure. Your grace, what is this? Nobles of Lingardshire, stand fast! For the glory of the ancients, leave none alive! I fucking knew it. I knew it. I don't know who exactly who it was he stabbed. It might have been Chea Wolf's attendant. I don't know. Is 
is how their god welcomes a new element. Who's down? God will... Ah! Whoever this is, look. Nope, nope. Unwalled? Get up, buddy. I fought valiantly. Bastard Bishop. What's his endgame? Your troubles begin early, Elvgar. We'll find and kill that man. To think such carnage could happen in Lincoln. The Grief Tosser can't have gone far. Race a feared and march against what many has left. Agreed. Hunwald, will you fight with me? I will. For the sake of Lincolnshire, I bloody will. I am at a loss for words. A trusted man of the cloth. <coughs> I will pray for these martyrs and tend to the remaining wounded until the last man walks free. Be well, Archer. And you, Eivor. May God or... or the gods protect you. Thank you. Right, let's bring this fucker down. Oh, I can talk to this dude? Who is he? The Valkyries have little to choose from. So many innocents cut down. Heraphrith, the bog rat, the shit eater. The devil has him. That's plain to see. Bloody murderer. Oh, shine. Alright, let's go. What remains? Speak to the new alderman. Come pour into Sword shower in the... I, I can't pronounce that. So where are we going? Oh, by the docks. Excuse me, child. This is very slow. If they see me, this will get messy. Am I going the right way? I am. We're gonna kill this bastard. He was sus. He was sus as hell. He was just acting real sketchy for some reason. And now we know. So there's two members of the order here. One who live just lives somewhere. I don't exactly know where. We'll track him when we can. And this one. Alright, we ready to ride? You got a calf party here. Such carnage I've never seen. That twisted bishop must pay the devil his due. What news? We have learned that Herefrith occupies a fort at Anacastra, south of here. An eager fear awaits my voice to lead him into battle. Will you ride with us? I have gone some days without a proper siege. Lead on. To the camp then, and onward to Anacastra. Follow, if you will. Off we go. Herivrith was a friend of my father's and always so dear to me. I don't understand what possessed him. 
He invoked the name of an ancient order before his men attacked. I know exactly what possessed him. Do you? It's not a story for now. This will send waves of disgust through all the parishes of Mercia. Erifrith is a new and ugly stain on the bishopric. Your Christ was an interesting man, if a little soft. But stranger <laughs> still, I've met so few Christians like him. Today has been a boon, Eivor. In spite of everything, I now know my father's spirit still burns within me. It's thanks to you I know this. When songs are sung of the day Lincolnshire was saved, your name will ripple through every stanza. Good. Don't be hasty, Hunwald. One verse of our song remains unsung. The din of battle beckons. You pagans and your appetite for battle. I certainly don't share it. I worry what diabolical feast the bishop has in store. Don't let that poxy bishop worry you. With Eivor beside us, he'll be victuals before long. How has Acha taken all this? She and Herevrith were so close. She must feel as though the devil himself attacked her monastery. A poor lady. We spoke briefly. Her spirits were low, but her work carried on. I think she'll be fine. Manipulated by a man who should be God's gladdener. Yeah, the Order of Ancients, the Templars, they they have a uh, like a giant arm in the church. We are the men of Lincoln. Our camp is just here. When the feared is ready, we'll attack with speed. Our warsmith has arrived. The feards are ready to fight. Chieftain Eivor. Can we win this battle with a small number you see assembled here? If they fight as strongly as they smell, we will claim victory. Ah! Then we'll have no cause for worry. We should attack soon, before the bishop can muster more troops. What do you think, Eivor? We attack now. Ready to fear it. Our first task will be to breach the outer wall. Then we deal with the troops inside. Our camp is just here. Hmm. Forward we march! For the glory of Lincolnshire! Okay, the best way to breach uh, is with a battering ram. I should help it along. Wait, how do I... Keep moving! Ladder! No one's there, that's good. All right, let's keep them occupied. I'll open the gate. Try to fly! Let's believe you! Oil! Come on, men! The cries of battle begin! Oh wow, I blocked just a little too early. Where's the ram? Where's the ram? Are we not using that? We should be using the ram. I guess we're not using the ram. Could do it, or I could try hitting it. 
Sweet. Okay. I don't see anything that can blow it up, so we'll find a spring. Room. That can't hit it. Alright, we're over the wall. Let's push through. Alright, give me some backup, guys. The crows met. My thanks out. All right, let's move. Time to die. Shoot the links at the drawbridge. Can't hold out much longer. We gotta, we gotta push up. So slow. And stop. Oh, jeez. I'll stick you like a pig. I'll pull you. Ah, Jesus Christ. Almost through the gates. There it is, over here. We're through! Gods! Herifrith has gone mad! You, <sighs> point me to the bishop. No one else need die today. He, he's, he's in the chapel there, hiding away. Scabrous coward. Let no one leave that church without facing judgment. Okay. The other side must be barred. Door is barred. Eat this. God is with me. Let's try this way. Climbing up is probably going to be our best bet. <laughs> there doesn't look to be a way in from up here. Interesting. Let's see. Maybe that key has something to do with it. Uh, 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 
remain steadfast. In nominee Patrice. Oh no, that's down. That's down. Might be a tunnel under. Finish her. Nope. Okay, so this might do us some good. Might be able to break something on the inside that gets us in. Exactly what that did, but it might have done something. Nope, still no. Let's see if we can get it. anything up here in the open window any breakable wood no <laughs> nothing that seems that it can help Hit anything from there. Can I? Yes. This should be this door over here. In we go. Jet, need to get Wait, what? The side. What did I hit? Pathetic. We keep our wits about us. Hold on. There might be another solution. That's broken. We have the advantage. Can I hit anything? No. Shit. How do I get in here? Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I must come for you. So respite, Lord, please. Our battle is lost. Continue to work with the Lord, my boy. Kill this pagan! Oh, 
Oven Mitch. Funu Hungriye Jiazwa. I died the day I hid behind these robes, this cross. To bring the light of my order to a wider view, I debased myself. Clawed my way to the top of this common religion, full of common men. I should have lived as the ancients did. That's the folly of mankind, Herifrith. We wallow in our failures, like happy pigs in a sty of shit. You should have learned to enjoy it. Okay, let's go speak to, uh, Alskir. Where is he? He's up here. Hello, sir. Eivor, you fought as one possessed by a demon today. Herivrith may yet have allies in Mercia. Members of his secret order, but the immediate danger is past. You have my deepest thanks, Eivor. To you I owe all my future happiness and prosperity. I did this to secure the alliance between us, Alvgar. Not to bring you personal prosperity. Oh yes, of course you did. Forgive me. I'm not yet accustomed to the size of the task before me. It is a shame Hunwald was not fit to don his father's boots. But he can bring joy to the people here. Treat him well. Yes, about that. I believe he has a somewhat different idea of his future. You should talk to him. Okay. About? Until next we meet, Eivor. The strength of Lincolnshire is yours, should you need it. We are bonded now. Your people and mine. I have found better friends in Danes, to be honest. Swanborough is my love, and you are a better friend to me than any here. Would it be an imposition to ask... Well, could we live with your clan? Swanborough and I. It would mean so much to her. And to me. Of course you may. We'll be happy to host you, ferocious swan, and your charming Dane. Come when it suits you. Oh, yes! Uh, I'll pull my weight, I promise. And fight when needs be, and I won't drink more than I'm allotted. You fight with us, Hunwald, and you can drink as much as you like. Thank you, Eivor. This means... It means the world to me. Seems the wind calls me back to Ranvi. Best tell her right. the good news. Excellent. Well, he's he doesn't know that he's not gonna have an allotted amount of drink. He can just drink as much as he wants. But we'll uh go back to Ranvi and see what's up with her. So I thank you all so very much for watching. If you're on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe. On Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already. And I will see you all next time.